Quit and <laughs> donation. Yeah. Sorry for the um night up I've been kind of batting a bit of one kitis. <clears throat> but <coughs> I decided to make, get this video up here before the actual game day because I doubt anyone could have watched this at Thanksgiving. And if you all what the hell are you doing watching Thanksgiving? Go outside, go to the room, go to your family and friends. Don't watch me. Maybe. Yeah, you get it. But yeah. Well, we're finally here now. We're taking on the Texas Longhorns in our final game of the season. And not not final game of the season, final game of the regular season before the bowl game. You get what I'm trying to say. But yeah. I think we have a really good shot at winning this game. I honestly do. For we have been getting slightly better, more consistent as the um, uh, the year gone on. I believe. I mean, yes, we still have a bit of hiccups here and there, but I think we're performing more cohesively. If you understand what I'm saying, and with being a rivalry game against Texas, yeah, I honestly see us playing our hearts out and not going conservative unless of course we have like an 80 point lead by halftime but barring that slight possibility I foresee this game being not exactly close but not exactly um <coughs> blowout it's gotta be a Small sound victory. Nothing major. Nothing small. Now, <coughs> Texas this year, for those who have been really living under a rock, is not very good. And while, yes, they really have been all that impressive the past couple years, I think since 2010 or so, this year they have been really struggling I mean it was not special teams choking at the, at the last second it's something else entirely for them and it got so bad at one point that there was rumors going around that their head coach their new head coach from the last season Charlie Strong could go over to Miami and they went through a major changes in their athletic department and all sorts of fun stuff for them. <laughs> and I can't imagine that they did not beat OU in that whatever game. They probably would have got gotten rid of Charlie Strong. Well, Texas has really been in the barrel this season. I mean, at first it looked like their quarterback Gerard Hold could actually be something impressive. I mean, he was breaking some small records. But, Gerard Hall is not really all too effective at throwing the ball. Only going around for um, 1,200 or so yards in about 10 games and completing around 60% of them, along with having five touchdowns and five interceptions. So, yeah, he's not very accurate and he is not a spectacular quarterback at least not yet however he is really good at using his legs to get out of situations and problems and that's becoming more and more common nowadays so I'm not saying a whole lot but he's managed to build up around let's see around 560 yards rushing the ball only 132 carries, so he is a dangerous quarterback with his legs, and we gotta work on containing him because he runs the ball about how often he throws it. So he's about evenly split with only a slight favor of the passing because we're well, not passing the ball more than he running against quarterback, then there's a problem with that. 
So hopefully we can find some way to slow that down. And on top of um, having legs with their quarterback, they have their running backs. Of course, you have Jonathan Gray, which is their most notable back in the past couple of seasons. But this year, Hausman. I think, oh, Hausman? No. Sorry. Foreman. There we go. I don't know why I said Hausman. Foreman has been their prime merely running back when it comes to getting a whole lot of yards with him having around 681 yards on 98 carries. He's a beast of running back. He is not a guy I'm looking forward to facing too much. At all. And well, Gray has more reps. He really hasn't done at near as well of a job as Foreman has. Just looking at the um, stat line right here. And considering the teams that take us a face so far this year, with only us and Baylor remaining, Foreman is definitely a person I am not looking forward to playing against. And with this game being in Austin, they are really going to try to control the clock majorly and keep the crowd into, into it for Texas is really, really trying to get the ball at stability. In order to do that, they need to beat us and Baylor. Already, that's a tough stretch, and Longhorn fans are kind of worried that they might not even make it to Baylor's ability. So, Texas is going to come at us very hard. But I'm not sure how hard they're going to go come at us. For, yes, this is a rivalry. But on the other hand, are they really going to be able to beat Baylor, even if they beat us? So, there might be some self-defeatist attitudes going through the mindset. It's going to be interesting to see how they come out the gate. And... Our rush defense is going to get another chance to try and prove itself. Like trying to stop them from controlling the clock on the ground. Well, we did a pretty good job at slowing down Kansas State's running ability. Well, Kansas is not the greatest running team in the world. They are a very solid running team. They can run the ball really well. And if we can continue building on that, oh, the game's tomorrow, so hopefully we have built enough on that <laughs> to prepare to handle them. And another thing we have to worry about is their um, defense, which is one of the better defenses out there in the Big 12, and has been pretty consistent. In fact, that's the only thing I can say about this Texas team, I think, consistent from what I've seen in them. I mean, granted, they got their ass kicked by TCU, but other than that one game, they have really not allowed too much to well, to break free, break through. So, it's going to be interesting to see how one of the better defenses in the um, Big 12 goes against not only one of the better offenses in the Big 12, but one of the better offenses in the country. Us. And that's going to be a real fun match at the watch. Now, I said we're going to win this game, so I'm, I'm more than confident that our offense can handle their defense and the only reason I was saying that this game's not going to be a blowout is because this defense is it's going to force a turnover or two. I am not expecting us to go through this game with no turnovers. This Texas defense is too good for not, not to happen and there's got to be a whole lot of work done to limit our Deep passing, we have to make a whole lot of short passes to be effective here because I just have, but that's not anything based on what I've seen. That's more of a gut feeling I have. But yeah, I'm just, my home. Really looking forward to winning Austin for the first time since 1997. 
and enjoying a big old piece of victory, victory cake or victory pie or victory whatever dessert you eat after enjoying a nice Thanksgiving meal. So, yeah. Until next time, Raider Nations, and guns up, Raider right Power, and Beckham Tech. Also, long ones. Hope you enjoy losing. See ya.